Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again to The Evil Within 2. I believe this is stream number six. So, uh, in the last stream, my game crashed once again, so I'm hoping there was another autosave. But, uh, we'll see. Accept that. Yo, oh yeah, and that's right, so we met up with this uh, random chick who was sent in to stem by Kidman to help me out. My safe house in the open like that. Okay, okay cool. Well, we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay. I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right. But listen, I've seen these things before. Don't get near them while they're on fire. I do what I want. I do what I want. See if I can nail this sucker. Nope. Can I stealth kill this fool? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That's what's up. Got a bottle, nice. Got another harpoon, right on, right on, right on. All right, let's see if we can sneak over here without that guy getting us. Come on, woman, what are you doing? <laughs> Needs to chill out, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, what is happening? I'm like sliding around. <laughs> no, dang it! Woo! That was really weird. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, baby. Can we get this guy over here? He's on his knees. Oh yeah. Nice. That went uh that went decently. Might as well use a stim since we got one hanging around right here. And anything I miss? Nah, now we're good. Got some gun parts. Got some herb. Another bottle and another bad guy. Was he actually going to come over here? Let's see if I can stealth kill him. Come on, little buddy. Oh crap, he, he's inflamed! <laughs> My undercover? My behind cover? Negative. <laughs> Yeah, man. 
Dude, Torres is pretty hardcore. More delicious goo. What's down here? Anything cool? Anything good? That's a big old negative. Ooh, bottle. Ooh, nice. There's actually stuff back here. Pouch upgraded for the sniper rifle. Even though I don't have any sniper rounds. Anything in this one? Oh yeah, buddy! This is really weird looking. Does this just drop off over here? Oh yeah. Well, that's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. I wonder if she would have said that if I would have done that completely stealthily. Kind of curious. Ba, 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 da, ba. Okay, so we can't go back. Dude, why do I walk so slow? But a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. Cookie dough? <laughs> That's weird. Ooh, goodies. So what are we going to do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. <laughs> She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him... Maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. <laughs> Dude, I need a shower. Look at that. It's covered in blood. I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. Oh my god. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Dude, I want I want that M4, man. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. Chapter 11. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? 
by using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. Kill. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. <laughs> Cool. Well, that was some good info. I was kind of curious about that, too. That was really random. I'm still... I'm still wondering what happened to Mira, though. Like, why she's all... That big, blobby, white, evil thing. <laughs> like, what the hell happened, man? Maybe Mobius found out that she was trying to betray them, and they, uh... Turned her into that thing because of her, uh, her stem chip. Or by using her stem chip, I mean. Smoke ones? Is that what's up? Freeze bolts? This crossbow bolt will freeze enemies str struck by it. Most enemies will shatter into pieces, though. Some may only be temporarily frozen or not affected at all. Oh my god. That's cool beans, man. I'm all about it. How many did we get? One? Yeah, just one. Just one. Torres's journal. This journal is written in a neat feminine hand. The most recent entry reads as follows. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Mira and Theodore to return. Time is sketchy, or time is a sketchy concept inside STEM, even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just want whoever finds this diary to know that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago, something that I regret, and that's why I'm here now. Waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption and maybe a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end, no matter what, but it's obvious something... Why can I not scroll down? Um, There we go. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help, like Kidman told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. I'm betting you anything, Torres is the one who kidnapped Lily originally. Should shoot you where you stand. <laughs> Alright, let's save in case my computer crashes, or well not my computer, but in case the game crashes, like it did yesterday. Just in case. It's not all duct tape. Wait, isn't this where I came through?
Ooh, high grade weapons parts. I wonder if the uh, the board's been updated with any info over here. A giant red X. Now that's art. Oh snap! What a zinger. Oh, what's this? A slide? Oh, cool, man. Good thing I came back here. Praying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his MO. So, uh, says MU Center recruitment pamphlet. Does this universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is conspiring to distract you with shiny but unattainable baubles in an effort to distract you from the truth? Are you convinced you're the only one who feels this way? And the MU Center is for you. Come, throw off the shackles of modern society, meet others of a similar mindset, create a better reality. The reality that you want, not the one they want for you. MU, we're waiting for you. What a weirdo, dude. The bastard smooth talked himself right into the middle of the plan, just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. <laughs> Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. So Theodore had a handwritten note to Kidman. It says, Kidman, I've had a serious conversation with Mira. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. He's got a silver tongue. Hmm. Oh, it says it right here, silver tongue. <laughs> Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Yeah, this was a uh, newspaper headline. It says, Silver Tongued Angel or Guardian Devil by Daniel Block, October 10, 2014, Crimson City. When you first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the, cover, uh, the covers of a series of best-selling self-help books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oa oasis, known as MU Centers. But what, looks be but what lurks behind this friendly and benevolent demeanor? While some consider Wallace a guru, others religious watchdogs, and more disturbingly, family members of MU Center congregants consider him nothing more than a modern-day cult leader. Spot on they are in that assumption. Kill. Kill. What's up, kitty? Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius nope. for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Hey, what's up, Alex? How's it going? The Evil Within 2 is super fun so far. I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm glad I finally started playing it. <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. Let me see if I can craft some 
ammunition. I'm I'm pretty low. Maybe a couple sniper rounds. That'd be cool. Mm, I'll do one more shoddy shell. Uh, th uh, this is just on classic mode. Doing the uh, classic uh, first person mode. Th uh, this is my first playthrough, so I figured I'd just play it on normal. Normal difficulty and all that jazz. Uh, let's see, what do I want to upgrade? I got 420 weapon parts. Maybe my pistol again. I need 800. My god. Uh, I think I'll save up some more. You look like you could use some help, detective. Maybe. Is that what survival mode means? I don't know. Let's check it out. I got aiming assist off, because that's for losers. First person mode's enabled. Oh, it says choose a new difficulty below, so I'm not on casual. I don't, I don't really know what classic or survival is, honestly. <laughs> I'm on whatever difficulty is medium difficulty. That's all I know. Got 19,000 of that delicious green goo. Let's see. I'm thinking I'll do another one of, uh... Well, actually... Getting more health might be cool. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, it'll show you in your stats? Uh, hold on one sec. Let's see if I can upgrade my health all the way. Sure can! Booyah, Grandma! <laughs> Alright. It, it's probably survival. Uh, Where does it say? It doesn't say. What do you mean middle button in the options menu? What do you mean? I think that's all we want to do. Then we'll head back. Bam! Dude, kicking doors is the best way to open them. It's what all the kid it's all it's what all the cool kids are doing these days. Why are you so interested in the difficulty? <laughs> it's just kind of funny. There we go. Let's check it out. Uh, survival, yeah. So that survival is the uh, medium or normal difficulty. I'm guessing casual is easy mode, and uh, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what the hardcore uh, difficulty is called. All right. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, you're, uh, you're pretty much never going to see me playing a game on easy mode. I feel like it's just pointless to play a game on easy. Most games on normal mode are too easy. <laughs> oh, we finally got a little fire extinguisher. It's a condenser. This portable condenser unit is used in laboratories to cool gases and condense them into liquids. Nice. There was casual survival nightmare and last but not least classic. Good to know. Good to know.
Gotta do a little circuit breaker mini game thing. Oh snap, first try. <laughs> Are you playing on classic? Nice. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. That's creepy. Dude, this Theodore guy is like infecting the entire place with his all his weird cultness, man. <laughs> You're trying to platinum the game? <laughs> right on. That's always a fun thing to do. I always try to complete games like 100% or as much as I can. Alrighty. Let's reload our shotgun so we're ready for any uh, any bad news if things go bananas. Things offline. Hoffman, you here? Oh, she's she dead? What happened here? Magic. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you? Okay. I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow? It doesn't sound like him. I don't even know that guy that well. <laughs> Why would I say that? <laughs> you knew there was something suspicious about Father Theodore, even if he was a priest. Besides, behind that innocent face hides his true ugly motives. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's like such a classic thing for like movies or video games is to have a to be like some crazy religious guy who's totally nuts. I mean, it's a good character. Not gonna lie, I dig it. <laughs> And I mean, there's been plenty of those types of guys in real life, so. Computer file, Hoffman's notes. Did I already read this before? I don't think so. Time as a con or time as a concept inside STEM has always been tricky, but the disappearance of the core and the collapse of Union has amplified this tenfold. The changes here have become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security. Man, she has like no faith in me whatsoever. Not only did I not fail, I whooped, I whooped his freaking ass, dude. <laughs> not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting. Items appearing seemingly from nowhere. Creatures that defy imagination, imagination wandering the halls. I'm not leaving this safe house until I have a damn good reason to do it. But who knows how long a safe house can remain safe in here. Touche, touche. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Let's go try to find her and uh, Liam. So they seem to be all buddy buddy and hanging out and stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Reload all our guns so we're ready for action. Nice. Pouch upgraded, shotgun pouch, boo yeah. I dig it. No thanks. Can I stealth kill him? If he comes over here? We'll find out. 
Hoffman does know her stuff. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look at that. Brutal. Oh, and then he just poops his pants. I mean, I, I hear that does happen in real life, but, uh... It's, 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 it's a whole other thing to ha have it happen in a video game. Oh, there's another guy? Come on! <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Come on over. Does he not want to come over? I guess I could throw a bottle and lead him over here. No? He just likes his little corner, I guess. Here he comes. Booyah! <laughs> it's just gonna be a pile <laughs> that just... <laughs> Let's just take a moment to admire this. Look at that. <laughs> Oh man. I like to think that they were no strangers from that uh, position before they turned into weird zombie monsters. Cause they're buddies! Um, I'm probably not gonna replay this game immediately. Um, if I do uh, play this game again, I'll definitely play it on a harder mode. Faux show. Damn, dude. These guys lost their heads. Security level four. That's a pretty good security level. What was that? Computer file, security protocols. Due to the sensitive nature of the experiments being conducted, the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operators with the proper Unity Cerebral Chip designation. Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non disclosure tenants as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. Meaning you get shot in the face. Ooh. We'll go through that mirror in just a uh, second. Yeah, after I'm uh, after I complete uh, the Evil Within two, I'm probably gonna start playing uh, Prey because that game looks pretty kick ass. I got another slide, I think, right? If I'm not mistaken. Sure did. Now we can have a little powwow with Kidman again. <laughs> or legendary punishment. <laughs> Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able Creepy. to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Well said. Oh, he's such a good kitty. Oh yeah.
All right. So we're in the restricted labs. Whoa. Hot damn. This got shiny all of a sudden. Dude, this is some like Resident Evil stuff right here. What's this about? Experiments, man. Collecting all that delicious blood for the vampires. Some delicious green goo just chilling. Anything else in here? That's a negative. Without one of those chips, gotta be one around here somewhere. All right, scavenger hunt time, dude. Resident Evil had all the viruses, man. The best ones. How much you want to bet this guy's gonna get up and attack me? Ooh, we got a little documente. Stem integration irregularities. We have begun to observe a new unexpected side effect of stem integration in certain Union citizens. The symptoms begin simply enough. Small mental breaks triggered by vestigial memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories, which leaves them in a state of confusion. Rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Their new Union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon, these small breaks develop into complete disassociation and eventually total physical metamorphosis. This phenomenon is currently affecting only 0.005% of the populace, but it's troubling nevertheless. Much was learned after the Beacon incident, but STEM is still experimental technology. We are isolating our studies while we continue to expand Union. It is imperative that we stop this before it escalates. Well, sounds like, uh... Some pu so it sounds like this is one of the dudes who was mutating because of his memories. So his brain was starting to totally collapse on, in on itself and he was going nuts. And his body was doing the same thing. Ooh, look at that. Can I hide behind this? Negative. Can I still kill this guy? Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Hey there, Rover. Come on over. I guess he's just gonna chill. There we go. Oops. That was weird. Boom, baby. You already know what to do uh, not to awake the dead. You're on chapter 15, two more ago than survival. Right on, right on, right on. Another bottle. Yellow. Shut up. <laughs> Can we open this? Boo yeah. Dude, there's so many bottles. Bottles galore. I'm stuck. Did 
Doesn't sound nice. <laughs> Yeah. She's eating somebody's face off. It's all gonna be okay. All right, let's go upstairs. Is there someone walking around down there? Sounds like it. I'll go get him later. Oh no, it's that guy right there. Let's go the other way. Sneak up behind this fool. Oh, snapperoni. I'll get one of them. <laughs> then the other one I'll just shotgun to the face. Woo! Oh, yeah. Alrighty. That's how it's done. Another bottle, don't need that. Lab three. Handgun bullets right on. That was weird. Maybe that's how they implant chips or something. Or he's giving them a lobotomy. Computer file operative case. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We have theorized that the transformations were a result of memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate an affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It's a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code 0128. All right, zero one two eight. Chip yet? I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh God, dude, the sound effect is so gnarly. Ah. Uh. Oh, that hits the spot. That hits the spot. Nasty. Unity cerebral chip. This electronic chip was implanted in the brain of a Mobius operative. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Oh, snap. Baddies out there? Can I see over there? Nothing. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those big chicks. 
Can we shoot her with the uh, sniper or is it going to hit this piece of glass? It's not letting me fire. So I'm probably going to hit the glasses, what I'm guessing. That's too bad. Whoa, boy. You know what? Let's just throw a bottle behind this guy. There we go. Boom, baby. Get out of here. And then we'll just go get this bottle over here. Did I go in this door? I don't think so, right? Dude, she is really going at it. <laughs> Pouch upgraded. Oh, kick ass, man. Finally, a medical pouch upgrade. So now I can carry four of them. I'm all about it. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could break these and maybe there'd be some uh, secret stuff inside. Gunpowder. Always good. It's okay. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Oh, did my game seriously crash? You for realsies. Dude! Uh, so annoying, man. One sec. <laughs> my game just locked up. I don't even know when the last autosave was. Hopefully I don't have to replay a ton of that. That would be a bummer. It's so random too when it locks up because it like the game runs great, so it's just so random. Like I don't, I have no idea why it's happening. Three forty-five oh five. So it was like four minutes ago. So it's not terrible. Oh, okay, cool. It was like right after I got the chip. Oh, uh, that's so funny how how it's random. Uh, whatever spawns in those uh, drawers. So now there's actually something in there this time. I right, get this. We go over here. Get our bottle equipped. Do like we did before. Shazza!
get this spaz. Get the pouch upgrade. You'll probably stream this later or tomorrow because classic mode is bothering you. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good. Do I need to watch this again? I mean, it's optional, but I want to complete it. I guess we can head back downstairs, try to sneak up on some of these peeps. Maybe I can get a sniper shot off on that, uh, that big chick. Where's she at? There she is. Now, question is, can I shoot through that, uh, that curtain? I want her to pop her head up. Oh, you can't! That's so lame, dude! <laughs> Come on, man. You'd, you'd think a bullet could penetrate that. Those sniper rounds aren't cheap either, man. Let's see if I can get this uh, this stealth kill on this fool right here. Mike, 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 booyah! People are infected because of what they're thinking about in Union. Uh, well, not really. That's just what uh, that's just what the researchers initially thought. But it uh, it just kind of turns out that it's mostly because uh, Lily, which is the core, went missing. And uh, and then that uh, and then that crazy psycho photographer guy started uh, mutating people, and then now the uh, crazy preacher guy is uh, kind of doing the same thing. Ooh, got another irregularity studies. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have we have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that cannot even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis uh, involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescap inescapable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. Oh, that's weird. So that force is pretty much, um, it's the crazy psychopaths that are, uh, trying to control the STEM environment and mess with everybody. Uh, so STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps a trigger was present in the subjects before they even entered STEM. Further research is needed. So if they were behind bars or dead, uh, none of this would have ever happened? Uh, well, basically, yeah. But it's, it's like they said earlier in the game, it's so hard to properly predict or diagnose a sociopath or a psychopath. So there's just always a small chance that those kind of crazy people are going to be put into the system. Which just ends up making it fail and turn all crazy like this.
All right, I'm thinking maybe sniper time. Wait, how many guys are over there? Just one, two. There's two guys over there. Let's see if I get sniper in the face. Crap. Okay, got one shot on her. Two shots. Let's see if I can stealth kill one of these guys. Boom, got one. Sucker! Run, 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 run. <laughs> Come on, spider monkey here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Woo. All right, maybe I can sneak up behind this person. Behind this lost, as they're now called. Oh, you're gonna get it. Spider monkey. Delicious goo. That went pretty well. I think we already explored all this. Yeah, pretty much. Whoop, more guys. I think. Okay, he's already dead. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. All right, so this is where I already was. So now we can go through that big door that I needed the chip for, which is right here. Scanning for Unity Cerebral Chip. Please wait. Okay. No problem. Unity Cerebral Chip detected. Entry authorized. Oh, thanks. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Ooh, four shoddy shells? Kick ass. Dude, we have so many uh, pistol bullets now. I don't know if there's any downside to having this uh, laser sight pistol or not. kind of doubt it. Oh, this is weird. Huh. Voices. Yeah, we'll go in there in a sec. <laughs> Emergency fire pull down. Let's not do that yet. It's probably gonna make bad stuff happen. More handy bullets. Shoddy bullets or shells. Is this thing gonna come alive? <laughs> oh, you could probably shoot these and freeze enemies that are near them. All right, cool. More shotgun. Always good. All right, let's go through that scary-looking door. Hoffman, stand back! No! He doesn't know what he's doing! 
Reloading. I don't care. He's dead, man. Liam, don't. What do you mean, Liam? Stay back. It's over for you, Liam, my man. It's over. Ugh! It's like part of his face! Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Woo! Snapperoni, dude. All right, let's uh, let's set a trap. It's getting too hot in here. Got one the flames up here. Oh. Oops. <laughs> this is the second time I've done that. God, I'm so stupid, man. Alright, we gotta get to the other, uh... We gotta get to the other, uh... uh emergency fire thingamajig. I think, right? That's okay. Dude, that hurt. You never escape me. I can't I can't shoot that right here. That's weird. Oh, so that just allows you to kind of like travel through some of the the spots. Where'd he go? Where you at, big guy? Big boy? I'm sorry, Mister. Is that not even hurting this guy? Suck it. I feel like the I feel like if I shoot him from too far away it doesn't hurt him. It's really weird. What's with those tubes? They're like going through the wall. I think it's all glitched out. Yeah, see this? It's all super glitched out. <laughs> like what? What is happening? I wonder if I can stealth attack this guy. Here he comes. Come on, buddy. Come on, Liam. I don't get it. Is it supposed to be hard? It's super easy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'm 
This guy needs to chill out, man. Stop running. No can do, big guy. So, can I still tell- okay, yeah, <laughs> I can still tell where he is because of that. <laughs> can he shoot through the, the glass? Hey, big guy. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him- <sighs> Hmm. Ouchies! Dude, he's fast. You think you're too good to fight me? Yeah. Dude, now I'm out of ammo, man. Except for these crossbow bolts. Alright, I need to craft some uh, ammunition, man. Let's do some shoddy shells. Wait, how about... Can we do a freeze bolt? Let's do it. Why not, right? Why not? Oh, I'm sorry. Blast his face off. Thank you. Sebastian. And finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. It's kind of sad, man, but that's what happens when you're a coward. turned into that thing I don't know I've been locked in my safe house since you left when Liam called and asked me to meet him I was so relieved to hear his voice but he wasn't Liam he was that thing I tried to get through to him but you he heard him Theodore Wallace did something to him poor guy 
I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Dude, no way. Do I get a flamethrower? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> This flamethrower's fuel tanks are damaged beyond repair. You'll need to find some replacements before you can use it. The weapon seems to use a custom to use custom made parts, so you probably need to find a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You have a feeling that you're not going to find one just lying around though. Cool. So it's I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts. So it's like a sniper rifle situation. I dig it. We got more ammo spawned in here? Cool. Let's go look around, see if there's any more ammo that's spawned before we go through the door real fast. Probably not, but... Oh, yeah! That's what's up. He was supposed to kill her. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it. Let's see. Investigate. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, let's look around a little bit first. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. Yeah, he is. Almost like a form of communication with him. Oop. So before we go in there, let's uh let's go through the through the mirror and see if we can upgrade some stuff. And we'll save in case the game crashes once again. <laughs> Can we craft some stuff? Maybe, perhaps? Or maybe upgrade 755 parts? What did we need for damage? We need 800. Okay, we're, we're almost there. So we need two uh, fuel tanks for the flamethrower. Keep an eye out for those. services again she really doesn't mind invading personal space does she <laughs> yeah I don't think I got any keys nah we haven't gotten one in a while feels like
So this bullet cascade says that for a set amount of time, shooting damage is increased with each consecutive shot. The effect ends when either time or ammunition runs out. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, let's keep saving up for a while though. We really don't have a whole lot of stuff. A lot of a lot of that delicious green goo. Anything new in our office, perhaps? Perhaps a maybe. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Wait, did we get another thingy majig? I don't think so. My brain is kind of scattered today. <laughs> nah. Cool, let's proceed. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. Totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian, I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. Why can't you just bash it apart? <laughs> I mean, blowing it up's cool and everything, but... Pretty sure there's a simpler way. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. Let's uh, see if there's any... Any goodies around. Got a bunch of tubs. Ooh, statue, that's what's up! Oh, and some weapon parts, and I think we're all good to go. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? She's like right by she's like right behind me. Nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure. Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. Fair enough. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey... When Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. Is that? I'm good to go. 
I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. She's dead. Okay, here we go. Operation kick ass. Have Who's gonna stay in the same room? Three, two, one. Are you okay, <laughs> Why would you stand that close? Thomas. What? Sebastian Castellanos, you refused to step into the darkness, so you tried to bring me to the light. Huh? Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then, I await you. You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. I'm over here, Dad. Hurry, hurry. Oh, God. Lily? You're here. Those bad guys. Chapter 12, Bottomless Pit. Is this guy actually here? Can I kill him? Oh, yeah. Oh, and he's got an axe. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And he's got the delicious goo. Whoa. This is trippy with the freaking flashlight on. That's a lie. Oh, dude, this is getting crazy sauce. What the... I'm trying to use the axe, but it's not working. <laughs> there we go. Alright, man, we gotta be careful. Apparently, they just freaking come out of the blood. Ooh, another pouch upgrade. 44 rounds. All about it. How did that guy not see me? <laughs> I'll take it. No, 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 Dude, I am so glad I got I got that perk to do stealth kills from around corners. Like it's it's kind of OP. <laughs> okay, we got some ombres down there. It looks like there's a guy way over here. See if I can get this guy. Oh yeah, dude. We're like a ninja in the darkness. Gun parts always good. What the heck is that? Do you see this? What the heck, man? Can we can we stealth attack this thing? Oh, 
whoa, 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 whoa. It's like a big daddy from Bioshock or something, man. <laughs> so weird. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. Boo yeah, spider monkey. No way. He's a one hit kill. Heck yeah, man. Well, one, <laughs> well, one hit in terms of sneak attack. This guy should be uh, an easy mark. But yeah, dude. All right, let's not go through there just yet. Let's uh, explore t a tad bit more. I'd be kind of shocked if there wasn't a statue around here somewhere with a key. Is there a limit to how far I can even go? Yeah, yeah. There's like an invisible wall right here. Something shiny over there, or is it just, or is it just light? I think it's just light. I know this is where I came from, I'm just kind of curious what's back here exactly. Oh, you can't go back there. Alright, well, good to know, good to know. Gun parts or something? Or ammo? We got ammo and gunpowder. Ooh, shoddy shells. And some goo. Oh boy. Boom, baby. Suck it. Alright, I'm thinking that's probably it. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's blow this pop sand. Let's make like a baby and head out. <laughs> Well, I'm mashing it. I'm freaking mashing it. Is there another big fatty? Sounds like it. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Dude, look at that ass. <laughs> it's so gross. That's why it's important to stay healthy, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to end up like that guy. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, cool! You can do you can do sneak attacks like right when they pop out of the water. Woo! 
No, 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 no. There we go. That works. Wasn't there another uh, axe around here too? Or did I already pick it up? I was just mashing the E button. <laughs> I must have already gotten it. Ooh, handy bullets. Let's see if I can get this guy over here. Oh yeah. Ooh, got a harpoon, couple of them. And we got a note. It says, burnt page from Submit to Freedom 2. What is freedom? It's a world and concept rife with individual meaning, yet utterly meaningless in the scope of time and space. We are comprised of atoms. Each atom has a central nucleus that is orbited by electrons. The space between those elements is vast. We are mostly made of nothing, a hard fact to accept. But there is power in this knowledge. There is opportunity in acquiescence. There is strength in surrender, as long as you are willing to submit to freedom. This guy is batshit crazy, man. Whoops! Oh, he sees me. <laughs> There we go. Got some gunpowder. Right on, right on, right on. What does it say? Oh, it just it just it just tell me to climb up. It's all about patience for those shots, man. This place is so weird. Gun parts, kill, kill. Can I go way out there? No way, right? Oh, no, yeah. There's a wall. That's mean, man. No, 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 this isn't right. Myrus is seeing where you fail. You refused to listen. You lost them both, and then became lost yourself. You know anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. Oh crap. Dude, where is it? Oh god! Boom, baby. Sit down. Did 
Dude, it's so hard to see in this place. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Boom! I'll trade you. Oh, nice. Lily Castellanos. Oh, sad man. Come on over here, baby. Whoa, that was weird. Alright, can I stealth attack these weird things? I, I kind of doubt it. But you never know. Maybe. Nah. Is he dead? Alright, it's dead. <laughs> oh nice, it actually had weapon parts. Whoa, extreme lag. That was weird. Dude, if the game crashes in this area, I'm gonna be super buttered. It's gonna be crazy, man. It's getting pretty easy doing these stealth kills on, kills on these guys, because all you have to do is run behind them when they uh, stand up and you just press F. And then they get F'd. Ammo? Oh yeah. I think I was already over here, right? Yeah. Sure was. Nice. It's saving. Good, good. <laughs> Always worried about that. Dude, die. Oh my gosh. I 
Maybe I can hit it with the axe. Or maybe I can just craft a couple bullets. A couple shells. Oh yeah. Dude, there's another one out there. I kind of want to kill it, but I kind of don't want to waste the ammo. Oh, there's a lot of them. What's up, King? How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for uh, popping in the stream. Right on. Good to hear that you're doing well as well. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, having some fun, killing some weird creatures in a room full of blood. You know, typical Sunday. Oh my god. Oh, that actually hurt quite a bit. Got some sweet gunpowder right on, right on. This is weird. I don't think this is supposed to be here. <laughs> this doesn't seem, uh, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> I'm trying to find more ammo because I'm, I'm running super low and I can't really craft anything anymore because I'm out of crafting parts. Guess I'll just go down the stairs in a sec. How right, was that? Oh, no problem. Everybody has to deal with lag. <laughs> lag is the bane of everyone's existence. Damn, it's getting dark. After all this, you still want to be reunited with Lily? I... I do. I... I need to find her. Fine. Then come to me. Alright, I'm coming. This area is weird. I'm checking for like secret statues real fast. All right, nothing. Lily, is it really you? No way, man. Don't trust her. Shoot her in the face. Lily. No! Lily! There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad. You let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? I feel like it. No. Please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. That's a new carpet. Come on, kid. No. 
This is so creepy, man. <laughs> your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. Dude, donkey punch this guy in the nuts. Do it. Take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? Oh, snapperoni. You sh shot me, Sebastian. Why? No, no. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, lame, dude. She was cool, man. I don't want Torres to die. Payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you all right? You've been working, You've been working too, too hard. hard. It's, it's making, making you delirious. You delirious. <sighs> Myra? <sighs> Torres, where? I'm home. How did I search the house? Can do. It's a super freaking bright mirror, man. realm just the way it used to be the way I wish it had stayed ooh what's that nice photographic slide Lily's drawings God, I hope she still has some of that innocence after all this. Doubtful. Mysterious symbol. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, looks pretty cool. So you decide to keep it in your room. The classic infinity symbol, man. Dragon eating itself. I buried myself in work so hard. If I could only get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. Uh, what do I do first person? Eh, I don't know. It just seemed like something interesting to try. So far, uh, first person uh, first person mode's been working out all right. It's kind of funky when you're doing like uh, uh, when you're doing the cover system, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Letter. Myra's last communication. It was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time. I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian. If you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. 
It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you. From either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please, find justice for Lily. And for me. I love you with all of my heart. Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. What the fudge? You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I failed you. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I failed everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing... It's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. Dude, this is getting freaking serious, man. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing... ...is that you forgive yourself. Forgive... ...yourself. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this. But I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. That's the spirit. Who's knocking at this hour? Come on. She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. 
She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Right when I was making progress. <laughs> It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. That's the spirit again. <laughs> okay, it's time to clean house. I've just got to find Theodore. That's not the problem. Destroying Liam's machine worked. Theodore is out there in the open now. The problem is getting to him. What do you mean? I picked this up on the exterior surveillance system cameras. Have a look. Theodore's stronghold appeared in the middle of Union. But it's surrounded by what looks like a massive wall of fire. Snap. Shit. I won't be able to get through it. I think that there may be a way. I found a device in Liam's equipment room that should be able to help. Great. Let's see it. It's not quite ready. I still have to do a few tweaks. Okay. Go do what you have to do. I remember there being a hotel near there. I'll go check if it's safe, then send you the coordinates. You can meet me there with the device. Okay. I'll see you soon. Uh, what am I playing on? Uh, Difficulty-wise, I'm playing on survival mode, so it's like the normal difficulty, basically. Ooh, chapter 13. Oh, hell yeah, dude! Finally get the machine gun. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. I'll make sure you didn't die for nothing. I'm gonna hunt him down like the dog that he is. Assault Rifle. This automatic weapon uses standard rifle ammunition. It packs a punch, but burns through ammo quickly. Cool. Oh, I'm uh, playing on the PC. I haven't honestly played a console other than the, other than the Nintendo 64 in probably like five years. It's all about that PC master race, man. <laughs> Get some full health uh, with this cafe. Tastes delicious, scrumdiddly umptious. Man, it's already been two hours. I normally end the stream around two hours, but honestly, I feel like I want to keep playing a little longer. Let's go ahead and save in case the game does any wonky stuff. Uh, let's see. So chapter 13, Stronghold, make your way through the remains of Union to reach Sanctuary Hotel in the Business District. Okay. Sounds cool. What's in here again? Uh, am I going the right way? I forget. No, I'm definitely not going the right way. <laughs> I think it's up here, right? safe room and see what's going on. 
<laughs> it's your boy, Skinny Penis. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Shoddy shells, man. Dude, can never have enough of those. Cool, yeah. So let's uh, head over to Sykes. I always like doing the secondary objectives before the uh, primary. Damn, hell yeah, more crafting parts right on. All about it. Uh, we don't need to go there yet. Let's see, we got five pistole rounds. And we got some metal bolts for the crossbow, so that's cool. I'll try using those a little bit. No, wait, that's not where I want to go. Oh, you beat the whole thing if I need any help to ask you? Cool, man. Sounds good. Kidman. I'm gonna finish this once and for all. I'm gonna save Lily. And I have all the tools I need this time. Good luck, Sebastian. And keep me posted, okay? It's important that I know what's going on in there so that I can help you again. You get me? I do. I'll be in touch. Kidman doesn't even know that her buddy's dead. The fudge? That's not cool, man. Alright, wait, so Sykes is the other way, yeah. Sykes is in the other area. That was fast. Entrance to post plus. Okay, wait. Am I going the right way? Dude, I don't even know anymore. I don't think so. Dude, I'm so confused now. <laughs> wait, how the heck do I get back to Sykes now that that door's closed? Because this just leads to the. Uh the freaking lab that I've already been to. This is weird. Where's that at? Right here? Cool.
Oh, cool. This door's open now. Right on. Oh, wait. It was always open. <laughs> I've been in here before. I'm totally forgetting where I've been and where I haven't been. Cause yeah, right? I don't think I'm able to go anywhere in here anymore. Unless this door opens. Huh. I don't get it. I think I'm stupid. Unless I was just reading the map wrong before, which I might have been. Ninety-nine percent. There we go. <laughs> Oops. I was totally just reading the map wrong. For some reason, I thought I was down here. <laughs> so that was just kind of a waste of five minutes, but whatever. It's all good. Alright, so we gotta watch out for that flamethrower douche. Oh boy. I wonder if I can sneak attack this fool. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I was trying to sneak attack these guys, but whatever. I was getting with the axe. Alright, let's see. I really want to know if I can sneak attack this guy. Bring around the Rosie. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, it it doesn't let you. Ow, man, come on. You do, why you gotta be like that? Whoa, 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 dude. Step back, Jack. All right, now I'm out of ammo, basically. <laughs> I kill the guy so I can get his uh his fuel tank so I can repair my uh, my flamethrower. I need a key. Do I have a key? Oh, I do have a key. Nice. I didn't even, I didn't even notice. Ooh, what's this? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Shotgun upgrade. 
Full build shotgun. This medium range pump action shotgun has a long barrel giving it a longer range to do damage. I dig it. And it's got a couple rounds right on. And high grade weapon parts. Booyah. That looks comfortable. Oh crap, he can come in here? That's so cheap, dude! Fudge! Fudge! <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, damn! Alright, so he's like halfway dead basically now. I need ammo so I can shoot these, uh... These tanks. Let's just do some handgun bullets. Oops. <laughs> I meant to do ten. <laughs> Whatever, we'll just do like six all together. No. Dang it. <laughs> There's too many guys now. Maybe I can lead him over here and light him on fire if that even hurts him. That'd be kind of sweet. Come on, little buddy. Come on, big guy. Ah, oh, nah, he's, he's invulnerable. Woo! Maybe that hurt him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh nice, some ammunition. Ten rounds right on. Come on, big guy. Maybe I can lure, lure him over with a bottle. Now nah, they probably programmed him so he doesn't go over when you're on top. Yeah. Is he up top? Oh, there's a different guy up top. Woo! This guy is super tough. You 
Alright, alright, I need to stop wasting so much ammo. <laughs> See if I can stealth kill this guy. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, so close! <laughs> Ouchies, man. Dude, there's so many. Die, man. And these guys are persistent. I was hoping there was some ammo in here. Alright, you know what? Let's actually just go to Sykes' place. Maybe there's some, uh, some ammo there. And I can also use some coffee. Holy god, there's a lot of bad guys. I could try killing some- oh crap. <laughs> I was gonna try killing some of those guys, but the uh, the flamethrower guy is too, way too close to me. Trying to... I'm thinking I'm going to lead this guy over here. Or not. <laughs> Dang it. Oh god, no! Oh god, oh god! <laughs> that was super close. You're here. Good. What's going on, Sykes? I'm sort of busy here. Hey, you're the one who told me to call you before I left. You found your back door. Check it out. Computer, nice. Congrats. You'll have to show me how to use it if I need to get Lily out later. Fair enough, but here's the deal. I'm gonna need you to help me get out of here first. Help you? I don't know anything about how these computers work, Sykes. That's not what I need help with. I hacked the servers to access a restricted area of STEM. There's a pod in there that I'm gonna use to get out of here. Problem is, the power's out. And there are a bunch of those things in there too. Damn collapse is affecting the deepest parts of STEM. You get the power back on and clear the place out for me, I can get the hell out of here. Again, what's in it for me? I'll show you how to use the pod before I go. How's that? Okay. Worth a try, I guess. Thanks, man. Call me when it's all clear. I gotta tell you, I was surprised to hear from you. Tell me about it. I've been lying low to solve this back door thing, but I stuck my head out there a few times. Things are going nuts. What's happening out there? There's a maniac who's trying to take over Union. You were smart to stay in here. 
Otherwise, you might have ended up flayed and tortured. Sounds grim. I think I'll pass. What's worse is that the guy wants to get his hands on Lily. Well, if this plan works out, you'll be able to get her to safety once you find her. Heck yeah! A guy like you end up in Mobius in the first place. A guy like me? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that you've got heart and a backbone. Seems they prefer their operatives to be either cold reptiles or unquestioning followers. You're neither. What did you think I meant? Uh, nothing. Never mind. You know, I actually searched them out to try and join. Wasn't easy either. They know how to hide their tracks. Why would you do that? They're only the most powerful organization in the history of the world, dude. Why wouldn't I? And you don't consider what they do to be criminal? Hey, it's only criminal when it's enforced. You know what they say. He's custodiat ipsos custodes. Right? Nope. Uh, sure. I'll... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I don't speak Italian. Cool, yeah, we got some weapon parts and we got a case to open. Hopefully some ammunition. Oh, you gotta go? Well, cool, King. Uh, thanks for popping in, man. Hope to see you again sometime. Hope you have a great rest of your day, dude. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. One down. I'm hoping one of them comes over here so I can sneak kill him around the corner. Yeah, there we go. Come on, baby. You know you want to come over here. Oh, crap. Boom! Oh, the big fatty's coming for me! No! Nice, it didn't even hurt because I, I guess you're I guess you're invincible when you're doing the sneak attack. So it's basically like a boomer from Left 4 Dead. It's cool, I guess. I can dig it. Where'd this dude go? Huh. I thought there was one more guy. Hey, what's up, Ethan? How you doing, man? It's anus? Why why is that? Is it just super loud or something? What do you mean who? There's no one else here. <laughs> what? I'm totally lost, man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I'm the same distance I've always been. No, <laughs> no reason to curse too, man. Come on. Hmm. 
That's weird. Hold on, let me uh, let me try changing some stuff. No one else has said anything so far. Oh, now my sound's gone. Hold on one sec. Uh, you, uh, you're the only one watching right now. Uh, someone, someone just left. I've had people watching all throughout the day, though. Well, it shouldn't be any different than it was before. It's exactly the same as it's always been. No, I'm I'm talking the same as as I've always talked. Is it still loud right now? Nope. No, uh, dude, it everything is exactly the same as it's always been. I don't have a new mic. I don't have any new settings. I'm not talking loud or anything. Huh. I don't know then, man. Here, hold on. Maybe I can check it out on my phone and see if it sounds loud to me. Why are you confused? Huh. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Uh, one sec. Yeah, I'm checking my settings and everything's exactly how it's always been. I'm trying to load it up on my phone, but it's taking forever. One sec. I don't know. That's pretty weird. I don't know. That's pretty weird. I don't know. It doesn't sound that loud. It's not that bad. I can lower it a little bit in uh, OBS though. Do I hear it? Uh, yeah, I can hear my mic, but it doesn't sound that bad. All right, how's that? I lowered it down by 10 points. We got a big fatty. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty weird. I don't know. So it's the same sound when I yell on the mic. That's weird. I don't know. I'll have to do some more tests later when I'm not streaming. It's it's kind of hard to change uh, settings and stuff when I'm uh, streaming and recording and whatnot. Uh, 
All right, so let's do the side mission. So it's the last step. Access the experimental wing of the marrow, clear out any enemies, and get the power back on. Kill. What's my Steam name? Uh, Evil Good Guy. Or X Evil Good Guy, I forget. Just to be honest with you though, if you try adding me, I'm probably not going to add you just because I have so many friends already. Like, like it's nothing personal or anything. It's just, <laughs> I, I really don't want to add anybody else to my Steam friends list right now. Oh, it does crap. <laughs> there we go. Don't worry, I didn't really do anything. I was just running around. Yeah, dude, I already have, I probably have like a hundred people on my friends list or something. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, everybody always wants to add me because they're, uh, they're fans of the game that I'm working on. So they always want me to, to be one of their friends on Steam. Yeah, <laughs> I get a fr I get a friend request probably like like once a week at least, <laughs> just from some random person I've never even met. What? The FPS of what? The video? That's weird. I mean, it looks fine to me. Then why accept what? No, no, no. I, I don't accept friend requests. Like, they send me them all the time, but I don't accept them. Uh, I could probably kill that big fatty over there. Anything in here? It's kind of a cool area. Dude, I want to kill this guy so badly. Woo! Oh, uh, there he is. You have 80 friends? Right on. I try to keep my friends list to like mostly people that I know in real life. Well, I'd rather not. <laughs> It's like I said, I, I already get so many people trying to talk to me all the time, so... Ouchies. What's the, what's the point of having me on your friends list if you're not going to try to talk to me? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Is it just so you can see when I'm playing games or something? Because, I mean, mo most of the time when I'm streaming, um, I'm in offline mode anyway on Steam, so people don't bother me. See, like right now, I'm not even online. At least I shouldn't be.
Why do you want more friends? <laughs> Does that like give you a steam achievement or something? I, I don't get it. If anything, I want fewer friends. <laughs> Makes it easier to manage who I'm talking to and stuff. Huh. Alright. That's cool. Why do I have over 220 games? Uh, cause I play games. <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that. Uh, lots of times Steam will have like a, a bundle, which you can get for crazy cheap, so... Uh, sometimes you can get like 10 games for like 10 bucks. So how do I access the experimental wing of the marrow? Huh, I don't know. Pretty sure I got a new slide. Oh, I missed one somewhere? Oh, lame sauce. Uh, no, I don't own, uh, Don't Start Together. I don't think I own any of those games. Uh, no, my, uh, my audio didn't cut out. I was just watching the, uh, cutscene. And, and listening to the, uh, dialogue. There's no game volume? What the hell, man? Hold on. I think it's because I was trying to f change my mic stuff, so now it's all... Freaking... Weird. Uh, hold on one sec. Alright, there we go. Now it's all back to normal before I started messing with stuff. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I'll- yeah, I'll just have to look into my mic, uh, after I stop streaming. Even though it's- I don't know why stuff would be different. Cause I haven't changed anything, but... You never know. Stuff can be weird sometimes. All right, nothing new in here. Whoa, I got 1,600 weapon parts? Hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I haven't even used this assault rifle yet. Let's put it on... Put it on four and we'll put the sniper on five. Bottle on six. Cool, dude. So we can just do the normal stuff, ammo capacity, firepower, all that jazz. I think I'll save up a little bit. Or actually, can we craft some stuff?
We can do two sniper rounds. And we can do maybe a couple freeze, or uh, well, one freeze bolt, I guess, will be nice when we're fighting that uh, flamethrower dude. You just can't stay away from me, can you? Dude, why is she so in my face? <laughs> Got one key. Oh, nice. Two explosive bolts. It's not bad. Not bad. I kind of want to increase my stamina gauge again. Then again, I kind of want to continue saving up for this synaptic focus, which is basically bullet time. Can I accept your friend request? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. I just, I just don't really see a reason to. things Hoffman Theodore has been messing with my mind every time I see him he uses my own nightmares against me that sounds like him he's a master of neuro-linguistic programming and in here the linguistic part becomes irrelevant why talk when you can get straight into your mind he almost had me but I searched inside myself and there was someone there someone who told me what I needed to do I know I can take them on now. Yes, I can see that you're ready. How did you... Right. The, the team, team psychologist. Hmm. <laughs> because you're cool? <laughs> well, if I added everybody who's cool, I'd have like 600 friends by now. Esmeralda might have lived if she didn't try to save me. Don't feel guilty. We talked while I tried to save her. She told me about the plan. She wanted it to succeed. She made the decision to get you. She knew the risks and did what she thought was right. She said that she owed you. Owed me? For what? We just met. Esmeralda is the operative who took Lily from your home and burned it down. She's felt guilty ever since. That's why she joined Myra. That's why she risked her life to save you. What? Don't hate her, Sebastian. She didn't have a choice at the time. And she did everything she could to make it right. I can't hate her. She sacrificed herself for the plan. She made her amends. Called it. All right. I hope that flamethrower guy's health doesn't reset every time I leave the area. Because I've already used so much ammo on that guy. I should honestly probably just ignore him. What the heck is the side mission? It just says access the experimental wing of the marrow. Huh, I don't know. I guess we can just fool around here for a little while until we go back and try to do the marrow thing.
Oh snap, son. <laughs> Dude, again? <laughs> oh god. Should we do it? Ouchies! This guy's a butthole, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I can even kill him. I don't, I don't think so. Whoa, what was that sound? Oh, is he dead? Oh, suck it, dude. All right, one sec. <laughs> Somehow the volume on my phone got turned up. I was trying to watch uh, my stream real fast. Sweet flamethrower fuel tank. So I need to get one more. Almost there. Need to get one more, and then I'll have a working flamethrower. Are these just? Are, they, are these guys just floating in midair? Oh no, there's barbed wire. Good. All right, cool. Let's go hunt some fools. Do I have any ammo on these things? Yes, yeah, I have eight. Cool. Crap, dude. I was trying to take uh, take cover so I could do a stealth kill, but it wasn't working. Oh snap, dude! She's way faster than I thought. Damn. Damn. <laughs> It's weird that the ammo isn't switched between clips, or I mean between guns. Nice. Maybe there's some goodies on this bus. Or in these boxes. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh snap. Crap, dude. Dang it. Maybe I can sneak around these guys. Oh, 
Or not. Oh dang. Oh, I was trying to get the other guy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a fail. That's pretty cool. Dang, dude. He turned around at the perfect moment. These guys are tough. Way tougher than uh, than they were when I fought them earlier. Just, I'm just double checking to make sure my guns don't have any ammo in them. Somewhere. Nah. Oh, he's going down, man. Just don't light on fire. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Ooh, a pouch right on shotgun. Nice ammunition, seven bullets. Can he not see me through the fence? Oh yeah. This guy's just kind of glitched out running back and forth, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he didn't hear it. He's too far away, I guess. Oh, come on, man. Nice. Anyway, gosh, it's going on three hours. Oh, man. I think I'm going to end the stream here, guys, because it is just... It's been a long-ass stream for me, and I'm super hungry. <laughs> and I just feel kind of out of it today. It's kind of weird. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for everybody who tuned in. And if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, uh, sorry about the weird audio and stuff like that. And if my mic was uh, loud, it's kind of strange. 
But uh, anyway, yeah, so if you like the video, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash xevilgoodguyx if you want to see me live and join in on the chit chat. And with that, guys, I will see you guys later.